Hello, this is Torio and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as Poland. So far, Greater Poland, because we don't have enough cash to form the Kingdom of Poland. So, uh, we have just finished a war, and we have um, too many provinces held directly. So what I'll do, um, first of all, we must disband our armies, of course, because they're eating into our treasury. And I had a quick look, and we should definitely keep those provinces that have uh, some sub-vassals in them. So I um, have seen that. The provinces without any of them are Sandomierz, Opole, Lower Silesia, Poznań, and Kalisz, the ones that we hold. And our primary title is the Duchy of Greater Poland, so I think we will give up those that are not in the Duchy of Greater Poland and don't have sub-vassals. So this one, this one, and this one. And since our um, vassals really hate us, most of them at least, well, not all of them, but most of them, and they're not very trustworthy. I will take some courtiers because we have an, we are far from our vassal limit. So I will take some courtiers, sort by rank and from the lowest one. Rather, let's sort by opinion. Maybe take someone who likes us very much. Let's court chaplain. Does he hold anything? He's content. A perfect, mm, a perfect candidate. Okay. Let's grant him a landed title, the chieftain of um, San Domir. Here we go. He's, uh, yeah, perfect. He doesn't have kids, so it will come back to us if he dies. Right, we need two more. Court, sold by opinion. Find a court here. Who are you? You are content as well. Perfect. Let's keep all our vassals in check. But he's arbitrary as well. Never mind, never mind. Grant landed title. Mm, what was it supposed to be? Uh, Lower Silesia. Perfect. And Opole. Another one. Court, opinion. Who are you? Mm, he's kind, diligent, content, and a craven. Perfect vassal. So, grant landed title. Chiefdom of Opole. Perfect. So our domain limit is under con our domain is under control, and we will now make a lot of money because we have more sub vassals. Okay, perfect. And we have a free council position. Mm, court chaplain shall be. Whoa, learning twenty four. Sure, no questions there. We get a better spy master. We can, but we want this guy to mm, like us. The steward of nineteen is the best we can get. No question about it. Marshal 13. Best we can get. Although we could make this guy. No, no, he's too weak. And the Chancellor. Mm, that's the same, but he's actually our vassal. Let's make the vassal a um, member of the council. He will still hate us, but he will maybe hate us a little bit more. Oh, as a usurped title. I think I'll send him to fabricate a claim somewhere so he may die. First, let's decide who we're going to try and conquer next. We should probably go north for Coronia. Let's just check if the High Chief of Coronia mm, gained any new vassals. No, only the basic ones. So I think we don't really need claims on that. Let's fabricate a claim here on Gdańsk. Where's the mm, Chancellor? Yeah. Let's hope he dies doing that. Okay, perfect. Time to unpause. Now we need to accumulate enough money to create the Kingdom of Poland. Wait a minute. Why do you keep supporting this guy? He's not that good. Why do I only have one vote? I somehow killed the other kid. I want to play as this guy. Hmm. That is a bit problematic. Yeah, that's because he's strong, of course. Can I get you killed somehow? I could imprison him, but everybody would hate me. Throwing characters in prison can be convenient, but will give you a reputation as a tyrant. Well, we are cruel, and we are a kinslayer already, so... Maybe we should just kill the other kid. Let's wait, we still have time, probably. Let's continue. Can I plot to kill my own child? No. I mean, that's... Oh, it changed again. How? Hey, all the vassals are nominating. Well, that's not the best way. <laughs> I prefer 
prim primogenitor, but... Well, never mind, never mind. Let's continue. So... Is there anything... Oh, f fantastic. We have a um, me medium tribal organization now. Okay, and we have to wait um, five more years, I think, right? Yes, five more years. Oh okay, god damn it. I keep switching around. I want the genius to be my heir. Well, I, I do hope we have some time still. Who's our spy master? Oh, you should scheme in our capital. Make sure nobody kills me. You build zeal, yeah, sure. And the marshal. Organize raid. If you marshal gather men for a great raid um, for plunder and glory. If you don't use the troops for raiding, they will get angry and take your gold instead. Wait a minute, I didn't know why we can raid. I thought only Vikings can do that. Well, let's try that. Why not? We can raid some of our neighbors. Mm, that's this kid. Well, we could make him ba bad. Maybe he won't be mm, succeeding to the throne then. Could make him cynical, diligent, or slothful. Make him proud, diligent, cruel. Or we could just make him crappy. We could make him uh, craven. Well, let's go to the first option. He's proud now. Well, okay. Tribal. Mm, yeah, we'll lose most of our titles on succession. And what's the income? It's not that good, but those new provinces will uh, recover after a while, giving us much more tax. Right, cool. So what else do we have mm, that we can do? How does the raiding mechanic work? I never really used that. Mm, let's try raising personal levies in one province. See how we can raid stuff. Um, there's no man better at increasing the church's opinion of me, or teach me to become a more pious man than my court chaplain. Um, we can have more piety, or we can have more church opinion. Let's go with church opinion, because we have a couple of church vassals now. So. Uh, oh right, we need to start a raid when we are in a friendly land. Dangerous faction, what is it? Royal... Hmm. Lower tribal organization. Well, I think we can defeat them if that happens. Maybe it's even better if you raise an army there. But then, to the looter. Set, um, setting this unit to be a looter will allow you to loot the provinces and holdings of other religions. This will cause a temporary state of hostility with them, however, allowing them to attack any of your troops. Let me see the religious map mode. This is all Slavic, so we... What is that? That is not Slavic. Why is that not Slavic? Well, we could go to the Northlands over here. That could become a problem. Oh, to rem remove a land here. You know what? Let's try that. Let's gather our army. See how much we can loot. That will deplete our coffers a little bit temporarily, but we will also be ready if um, the disloyal vassals and the dangerous faction rise up. Come on, come on. Let's just make sure they're ready. And make them a looter. Go on. This is a different religion. This is um, Romuva. We are Slavic. So let's see if we can actually loot the province, and how much we'll get for that. We are actually looting the province, perfect. And they can attack us. How much money will we get for that? I doubt they will be strong enough to actually damage this army. Hmm. Why are our levies so low? Oh, right, because I gave up those provinces and those haven't recovered yet. Yeah, they will reinforce soon. When does that expire? This year and this, the other one? 
Uh, this here as well. Okay, pretty well. Pretty good. Pretty well. <laughs> pretty good. How much money can we get from that? Come on, show me. Um, okay, we've done it. What's the money? Maybe we have to take all of the province? Weird. Well, I am gaining money after all, even though they are being supported. So um, maybe it's actually a good idea to keep doing that. That will damage the neighbor that we want to attack ultimately. Victory, yes. I feel stronger. Gain two marshal. Perfect. We have looted some of them. And yeah, we get a nice event. We get a new weapon and we get more marshal, which is good. So, um, you can't keep looting this province. Let's go to another one. You don't want to fight their army, so although we could. Okay, we're actually gaining catch. That was the faction. Yeah, only those guys that hate us. And we want to kill him, actually. Mm, concubine is pregnant. Sure, why not? If you get a kid that is a genius and is strong, he will probably get nominated to be a successor, which is fine with me. 282 gold is needed. Who are you fighting? Uh, they're fighting this big guy over here, which will probably not succeed because of their well, strength. Come on, come on. How much can we get from this city? How much are we getting from looting? Can I get this information somewhere? Oh, this province can be looted for 0 0.05 every 4 days. Okay, so we stay in the province now. Let me just uh, have this expire, I mean the month take. Maybe I should keep them in the province after it has been sieged. Cannot loot. Why oh, cannot loot? Province does not border the realm. Oh, we have to be in a neighboring province. All right. What I'll do is split this in half and send half here and half here and try the looting mechanic out again. So it seems like we have to border the province and oh, 0 0.28 every day, every four days. That's good. And we can't really loot this one because it is guarded by forts. But this one cannot loot. Why? Hmm. How is that guarded by forts? Ooh, wait a minute. They're getting reinforcements to beat us up. Okay, I don't really understand the looting mechanic uh, that well. I will have to read up on that. So when will you come to this province? 31st of December. We can't run from you, but we can reinforce you. Okay, let me see the battle. We're kind of losing. We're losing quite a lot. Uh, when will you get that? Next day is fine. Four days is not fast enough. Alright, never mind. You run. And we will stop looting. Okay, enough looting for now go home. Didn't really work out that well. Okay, how's the faction? Yeah, we could actually make this guy like us, probably. And we get a new daughter, who is a, who is a genius. Perfect. We can probably use her to our advantage later on. Marry her off to someone. Oh, even marry her off matrilin matrilinearly. Matrilinearly, something like that. Anyway, maybe we should wait for our levies to reinforce and actually attack the northern province, the northern kingdom. Uh, my marshal Karo has gathered up a great host of ra raiders, lusting for plunder and wanton destruction. Yes, let's do that. Just, uh, it's not a great host. That's three hundred men. Sure, why not? We can. I will not lead this personally. 
Yeah, why well, should I send them to loot? Okay, this province is what? Remova. And the chief is... Um, Remova. Why is it white? I don't understand. Never mind, never mind. Mm, pagan, normal, winter. Maybe that's because there's winter? No, probably not. Who else could we raid? I don't want to raid the um, Francia provinces. Hmm. They are currently fighting a war. It would be easy to loot them. Let's try that. Uh, what's toggle looting? Send them over here. Might work, might not. Uh, what's that? Small army of... Um... Okay, so they want to fight somebody. You know what, maybe we have enough troops to actually declare war on Coronia now, because we have about 100 event spawn troops. How much can we get from our levies? Not that much. We have a lot of vassals. Maybe it's actually a good idea. Let's try that. What is that can happen is we are lose. So, subjugation of Lithuania. Everything. Let's try it. Why not? Everybody, come help us. Call everybody to war. And assemble in Helmenok. Yeah, perfect. The losing army probably helped a bit because they depleted the garrison here. Um, yeah, is anybody coming to help you? I don't think so. We'll just hope we have enough money to... Oh, a child is lacking a guardian. This is a daughter who is not particularly mm, good. I think I'll give it to the vassal that um, kind of likes us, but is still in the faction, meaning this guy. Yeah, I think I will mm, educate the child. Maybe that will be enough for him to start liking us. Yes, with him personally. That's what we want. Was the modifier? No, he hasn't accepted yet. Okay, it's minus seven. It's not that bad. Levies from shamans are raised too long. Yeah, I think I'll just leave one army here. How many troops? 422. Let's leave this one and this one. And you guys can go on. Mm, there's 543 here. Perfect. A little bit of carpet sieging before the enemy can assemble their troops. Uh, 900. Okay. Almost a thousand men. And the rest go here. And our tribal vassals should accompany us there. Oh, right, there's, they're also looting. Should I disable that? Wait. Everybody help. Oh, oh, they're going too slowly. Crap. Victory. Yeah. Should I keep, keep looting or...? Mm. Well, this is other religion, so they could actually help a bit. Let's join this in this battle. New guys. Yeah, you join this battle as well. We need your help. They have a very high morale for some reason. Wait a minute, what's going on? Right, I joined with those weak troops and that's the why they won. Crap crap. Right. They need to recover. Mm, another dangerous faction, and our genius son is finally ready to be tutored. We will tutor him ourselves. By ourselves. So we can um, instill some good traits in him. Or rather, we can make decisions as to that. We can raise a tribal army. Yes, please. 2,500 men. Perfect timing. That cost us a lot of prestige, but I think it's worth it. You guys go and help.
And we're leading it ourselves, perfect. So this will be our main strike force, and the other guys will just siege stuff, I think. Come on, kill them. Great. Right. Mm, should I split them or not? We can do three provinces, or even four. I mean, this uh, was a problem before, but we'll send you over here, and we'll split you over those provinces. So how many do we need here? That's uh, 145. Mm, let's send them uh, a bit more than that. The rest, uh, the rest stays for now. Here we need, what, 530 and 50, that's 600, approximately. So, 500 and 100 and something, and those two small ones. The rest stays. Galindia needs a lot, needs a thousand. Okay, so that's it for now. And you're... Mm, my concubine is pregnant. Sure, why not? And the kid, our son, our genius son. We can make him... What? We can make him honest. Or we can make him deceitful. Honest is diplomacy versus intrigue. And deceitful is intrigue versus diplomacy. I think, in his case, diplomacy will be better. Let's make him... This is what? This is... Uh, he loses the honest trait. Yeah, let's make him be honest. Yeah, great. Victory, and we are brave now. Everything is going very well. I'm just waiting for the moment when everything goes to crap, because we get assassinated or something like that. Although it will be interesting. Yeah, we're doing pretty well in cash. Yeah, not the same, sure. And our tribal vassals are accelerating those things. Victory, sure, move here now. Yeah, this will take some time, but we are at 72% war score already. Mm, we cannot enforce demands yet. Wait a minute, who's in prison? Chief Dalmi of Lower Silesia. He likes us. Who who imprisoned you? Chief of Coronia. Why are you fighting Coronia? Oh, we are fighting Coronia now. Sure, he will be let out if we win, I think. That's fine. Uh, what happened? I, I missed the message. Clicked too fast. We don't have enough troops to siege this province. If I send you some reinforcements, though... Oh, 52 defenders, really? Assault. Perfect. Send you down there. And send you up here. 88%. Are you ready to surrender and give me everything you have? No, he's not. But it won't, won't be long now. Come on. Come on. And we will have a lot to administer. Or to administrate. A lot of work. Because we will have to distribute those lands to probably new vassals. So. And what are the looters doing? Where are they? They're here. They're actually giving me money. Let's select them. Can they not loot? Why can you not loot? All loot is guarded by forts. You know what? Let's send them here, because they will be able... No, 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 no. They will get killed. Kunagunda, our daughter. Another genius. Perfect. We will mm, we will marry them off to other leaders. Maybe even matrilineary. Because if those girls are so good, the other leaders might even agree to that. Come on, finish the siege. 95%. Are you ready to accept surrender? No. Right. Let's wipe those armies. That should be sufficient. Can 
be too difficult. Are we fighting him personally? No, we're not. 95 still. And we finish another siege, that's 99. He still doesn't want to. Still have untouched armies and holdings. Well, that is going to take a while after all. Right, let's send him north. Rather, let's send this army north. 100% perfect. Come on, give me everything. What? What, 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 what? What happened? Why did I not get those lands? Oh, I must have misunderstood. Crap. Those are chiefs. Why did I not get that? Hmm. Something went wrong. Something went wrong and I need to understand what exactly. Oh, maybe it only works for titles directly held by him? They were all counts beneath him. That could work. We didn't get the duchies. Well, we will sort this out in the next episode. We did get two provinces, which is uh, less than great. But it's still something. And we need to give them up to somebody. Although not this one, because it has a temple. So we will have to give up one of the other ones. Without temples and stuff. Mm, yeah, let's give up Kalish to a vassal, to a courtier. Court, opinion. That's a shaman, no. That's a kid, no. You don't have a title. Let's give you Kalish. Chiefdom of Kalish. Sure, and we need to give Kurzeme to somebody. Show me your court. Most opinion. Who loves us the most? He does. He's attractive. Sure, why not? Chiefdom of uh, Kurzeme. Sure. And we, we can actually stand our armies down now. We can disband this unit. The raiders. Uh, because we don't want to be raiding at this time. Yeah, sure, we have fragmented this kingdom. They might uh, make some high chiefdoms now, but... Uh, yeah. It wasn't the best war. But we did gain something. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.